I think it's time for a break from all this phone stuff. Let's go back to the days when gaming wasn't just about tapping a screen, but actually playing with a friend right next to you. Today we are going to build our own two player ping pong game. It's simple, it's fun and you will definitely gonna love this. Before we dive into today's project, I wanna give a huge shout out to our sponsor LTM365. The world's first open electronics hardware development platform that designed to securely collaborate on your projects in real time. Whether you are managing your design files, collaborating with team members or even sourcing parts from over 300 distributors, LTM365 has got you covered. It simplifies data management with version control, ensures real-time collaboration and even provides supply chain insights so you are never stuck with unavailable parts. It integrates seamlessly with eCAD and MCAD tools, ensuring you can design the future from anywhere in the world. And if you're a student, kickstart your electronics design career with LTM Student Lab. Get free access to LTM Designer and LTM 365, collaborate with your friends, and earn a certificate recognized by top industries in India. Start now and turn your learning into real opportunities. Click the link in the description to get started. Coming back to the video, let's talk about what we need for this build. First up the display. So here I am using this 2 inches 320 by 240 pixels IPS display from DF Robot. Next we need this potentiometer to operate or play the game. Actually we need two of these because we are making a two player game. These are also from DF Robot, they are smooth and easy to use. And finally the brain of our project is the ESP32C3 microcontroller. It has faster CPU and better flash memory so it will run our game battery smooth. And we also need to grab a breadboard to prototype the project. So these are all the components we need. It's provided by DF Robot. I have included the links to everything in the description below so don't forget to check it out. Now let's begin with the project. Alright guys, we have successfully completed the prototype. And here is the circuit diagram for anyone interested. Now let's move on to the coding part. So here are the codes we developed. Let's go ahead and upload them. As you can see we have choose a minimalistic color scheme for the display, just black and white. I think it looks pretty sleek. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. The game runs smoothly and working perfectly. I can't wait to see how the final product turns out. Speaking of which, let's move on to the next step, 3D designing and printing. I have already showcased the designing part in the intro and here is the final version. It looks fantastic. Now let's fire up the printer and bring this design to life. Today I'm using my brand new 3D printer, the Elugu Neptune 4 Max. This beast is massive. With a build volume of 420 by 420 by 480 mm you can literally print a 1.3 foot cube on it. Isn't that incredible? It's built exceptionally well and it's super sturdy. It features dual x-axis motors, prints up to 500 mm per minute and has a direct drive extruder with excellent cooling mechanisms plus many other impressive features. The best part, it comes at a super competitive price. I have provided the links in the description box so be sure to check them out. Alright, all the parts turned out really good. Now it's time to install everything in its spot. For the wiring, I don't want to make this video boring by showing all the process so I'll include a diagram in the video description so you can check it out. I've also added a LiPo battery and the great thing is ESP32C3 has built-in charging circuit that makes things so easy. You won't need another charging circuit. Now let's finish up the final assembly and complete this project.
Alright everyone, the project is done and I think it's turned out pretty cool. What do you think? It's super easy to play, just power it up and invite a friend to join you. As you can see, it's a lot of fun and the best part, the game speeds up automatically making it harder the longer you play. That was pretty fun to play and that's it for this video. I hope you like this video. All the files for this project are available with the channel membership or you can access them free after 45 days. Make sure to like and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more exciting upcoming projects. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.